and welcome Libra Rose Burnett here Mind Body Soul Balance this is your March 2021 tarot forecast now it is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates leave what does not if you're brand new to my channel big welcome awesome to have you here if you like what you see hit the subscribe button you'll get more great content from me for those who regularly follow my channel you're rocking awesome love your support now if you'd like to get the extended version of this reading all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel or the very first link in the description box below so it covers everything we're going to see right now but it also we go deep into your general energies we're going to have a look at love and romance for march 2021 as well as higher guidance from spirit yeah and uh, if you'd like to stay connected with me on instagram my uh Instagram handles will pop up here in a second. I do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. And uh, if you're interested in the tarot oracle decks I use in my readings, list them all below for you in the description box. You can also find them in my online crystal shop. Currently, I'm doing a clearance sale of everything in the crystal shop, including crystals, crystal jewelry, and oracle cards. You get 40% off. And coupon code is going to pop up here and all the info down below, yeah, as well. So if you're interested in checking that out, go and check it out. And if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, they are open. They're deeply transformational. I'll put the booking link on here as well as the booking info down below. You can find a lot more out on the booking page. Let's get started with your reading, Libra. So we're going to kick off with predictions. And uh, I've got a beautiful brand new deck. Uh, let me just look at the name of it for you. The Angel Wisdom Tarot. And uh, let's pull you some guidance coming towards you or what you're going through right now in terms of uh, the star sign oh, let's say that one's flying out you pulled the nine of fire she's got a lot of um dare i say wands or arrows headed towards her yeah and she's deeply protecting herself it's very much about protecting that which you have created yeah not giving up um continue to move forward if you need any help it's about you know Asking for your angels, the universe for, for help. But within you, you've got this amazing strength. Yeah, she's very strong, but it's about not giving up. If you feel like giving up, spirit saying, don't give up, yeah? Simply on your goals, your dreams, whatever you're working on right now. Get your cards flying out. You've got the Empress, which is very beautiful energy. She's very nurturing, yeah? It's all about giving birth to your dreams. Yeah, um, Spirit's saying when you focus on doing what you love, there's abundance, this prosperity is naturally going to be drawn to you. And you're also going through this uh, transformation right now. Significant life events going to bring great change into your life. You may look at things in a totally different way. Um, releasing old ways of being from self. And um, you've also pulled release right next to it. Yeah, there's things you need to release that are going to help you clear there's a lot of white energy here, angelic energy, yeah. Brand new beginning coming in. Mm -hmm. What else does Libra need to know? Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the Ten of Water, which is pretty much like the Ten of Cups, yeah. A lot of cup fulfillment, a lot of contentment, beautiful, happy family here. Um, can represent financial security, um, emotional happiness, well-being. And you've got the ego here, yeah? He's cutting through chains that are on a wrist, which is very much watching that you're not going through states of illusion of feeling trapped because screw it saying you can release yourself from that at any time, yeah? Um, it can also be a bit of a focus on if there's things that you're doing in terms of habits that are unhealthy in any aspect of self. It's about facing that, yeah. You've also got the page of fire. And it says there's a news of an exciting new opportunity coming towards you, which is kind of great, yeah. Um, very much about doing things that you're very passionate about, sitting directly under the Empress, yeah, which is going after your goals, your dreams, giving birth to your dreams. And uh, you got the Two of Cups, so gorgeous. There's a lot of focus on family and relationships, yeah. Uh, falling in love, resurgence of love in a, in a relationship in terms of forgiveness, possibly overcoming conflict, um, a deeper connection. Um, it says don't give up on the people you love. two there flying out your cars are just flying out libra 
you got the four of fire, a lot of fire energy coming in. Reason to celebrate is a beautiful home in the background, um, peace, prosperity coming into your world, not only here in terms of your finances, but also in terms of your home, your family life. Yeah, wow. So much here about your family. You've got renewal. Yeah, there's a family unit here. Very much about time to move in a new direction. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Again, it represents compassion and forgiveness for the past, but moving forward. Then directly under the ten of water, which is the ten of cups in this deck. All right, we're going to pull you some clarifiers with the uh, Muse Oracle. What is it Libra needs to know at this time? you got the seven of emotions. There's a lot of fish in this fishbowl, right? So it's very much about getting very clear. You've got lots of options, Spirit's saying. What do you want to focus your time and energy on, particularly when it comes to your career? And uh, you've got the chariot, this beautiful energy. Below here's a lot of horses, you know, the energy to really move forward through any challenges. Um, she's very strong. She's got a star on top of her head, by the way. Uh, a lot of light emanating out of her, which means you've got the energy, the vitality to move forward. Directly related to your goals and dreams. Uh, you've got the seven of voices, and there's a lot of foxes here, right? Fox faces. She's wearing, she's got a fox on her face, actually. Um, watch out for manipulation. Watch out for deception around you with other people. Just make sure you're not being deceptive and self in an illusionary state because there is a door there that you can open if you want to. I mean, they often represent what the fox is the sly fox, yes, yeah, still on the egg. So just watch people around you. Wow. You got death, yeah, which represents rebirth, transformation, emerging, the butterfly emerging. And in case of this, it's like a moth, yeah. Coming out of a chrysalis. Um, whenever we have the death card, there's something we need to leave behind. What are we going to take forward with us? It can represent brand new cycle, chapter in your life. And uh, you got the four of emotions. So there may be something that you're disappointed in, didn't work out for you, um, kind of a little bit of stuck in sort of a bit of sadness, a bit of grief, looking backwards versus looking forwards. Spirit's saying it's a time of absolute renewal in your life, time to move in a new direction, Libra. I'm going to pull you some angel healing messages. What is it Libra needs to know in March 2021? We've got Archangel Sandalphon. He's very spiritual, yeah? He says, I have heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. Oh, how beautiful. You've also pulled vision. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself as well. Your love has the power to transform current events. So often when that comes out, it's when we shift our energy and our positivity, it can totally lift those around us or we look at things in a different way. Yeah? We respond to things in a different way. And you've also got the middle path. It says embrace both. It says embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to a more balanced and peaceful life, which means not being too far on either side. Yeah, not overdoing things. Um, coming into that place of inner peace and balance within yourself as well. All right, I'm going to pull your gorgeous energy from. The uh, Divine Circus Oracle, beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. Go with these energies. What is it Libra needs to know at this time? Clear guidance. Thank you. Uh, you've pulled meant for you, which often means whatever is meant for us is coming to us depending on our energy, our vibration. Let's pull you up the guidance. Number one, which represents brand new beginnings. It says, Libra, you've voiced your intent, setting in motion a natural creative process. What you want has been summoned forth and is now headed your way. Don't hesitate, refuse to receive, or pass this gift on to another. It is meant for you. Grab it. Within this new opportunity is exactly what you've been waiting for, what you've been wanting to create, what truly makes your heart sing. 
and what is rightfully yours or very soon will be right in front of you. Caught up in a spiraling wave of new beginnings, it's time to reach out and grab what is headed your way. Opportunity is the universe believing in you. Return the compliment by accepting what is offered with your open arms and trusting heart. You'll be glad you did. And don't worry if this opportunity seems to be leading you down a different path to what you expected. All paths lead us to where we need to be and sometimes the universe just has a better idea of what will help us get to our destination at the perfect time and along the pathway that will be of most benefit to all. Trust what is happening, accept you deserve good things to happen to you and don't be shy. Now is your time to step up, open your mouth and your arms and say thank you, I accept. Definitely sounds like a beautiful opportunity coming your way. Mm-hmm. Or a gift blessing from the universe. And there's a healing ritual here and it says the best way in which to clear any obstacles in receiving this gift is to stand upright with your legs hip width apart, raise your arms in the air above your head, open wide, look up and imagine that the universe is watching and listening to you. Give the universe a big grin and a wink and then say aloud to everything that is in my heart and all that can help me manifest my destiny with the greatest joy, I say yes, yes, yes. You've completed your healing ritual. And uh, there's also an affirmation here that says the universe believes in me, I believe in me. I create, accept and enjoy opportunities that enliven my spirit and make my heart sing. Oh, beautiful guidance coming through. All right, those of you watching the free version of this reading, those are your messages. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please love to hear your feedback, your comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Um, in terms of if you want to get the extended version, we're going to go into that next. We're going to go dive deep into love and romance for singles, couples, someone you're thinking about. We're also going to go into your general energies. And I think this one's really important for those of you that have been working on something, you're waiting for the returns, rewards to come in. The nine of air, which is protecting that which you have created. I think this beautiful energy of moving forward, uh, the chariot, and uh, we're going to put what is meant for you. Yeah, this gift that's coming towards you, we're going to leave those out. And I think there's also this beautiful sense of renewal and transformation going on in your life. So our general energies are going to focus on those, as well as some beautiful crowning energies from spirit. And uh, so for those of you already in the members um, VIP area, hang around. If you want to get the extended version of this, don't forget, you just have to hit the join button on my channel or hit the link in the very top of the description box below. It's a, full, it's a small monthly fee and you get the extended version of the monthly as well as the mid-monthly. Yeah, it's like getting a personal reading from me twice a month. Mm -hmm. All right, for those of us leaving uh, right now, beautiful to have you here. Make sure to come back and check the mid-month out when it comes out and for the rest of us going through, hang around. All right, Libra, we're, in terms of love and romance, we're going to pull you some guidance from the Lover's Oracle first. What is it Libra needs to know about love? So this one's coming out. Mm, it's a beautiful uh, peace dove here. It says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Very intriguing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. As I mentioned, this is for singles looking for love, those of you in a relationship or someone you're thinking about. So let's see what's coming towards you. What is it Libra needs to know at this time? Thank you. You've had a past life relationship before. You've known each other before. So it speaks to a soulmate, a twin flame. You may be with them. You may be drawing one to you. Wow. Right next to that, you've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So it can be a past lover returning to. It can definitely be a past life relationship which means it's someone new. And uh, Spirit's saying you absolutely deserve love. Know that you deserve love. Whenever this comes out, it's about our sense of self-love, self-worth. Um, not settling for less than what you're worth. Wow. 
confirmation this is your soulmate or you're drawing one to you. Spirit's saying your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, particularly if you're thinking of someone, you've met someone. And uh, you got divine timing happening in your love life, which means that either there's things in your life that need to be cleaned up and balanced first, or there's, or there's a timeline going on in terms of when the pair of you are going to meet up. Or there may be something you're both working through, right, to to bring it all together sitting under reconciliation you got yeah a wedding so this one's an absolute keeper my loves um it can represent some of you that are in a relationship it can definitely speak to a committed partnership coming in and spirit saying to get your flirt on singles those of you single spirit saying get yeah, extend that light-hearted energy to others it's sitting directly under you deserve love soulmates out there and some of you still need to release and heal from the past yeah anything karmic be a great idea to clean it up because you've got this amazing love coming in and just mean releasing yourself from the past mm, it's going to be a strong magnetic attraction there always will be when you've got a past life soulmate coming in And if you don't know what passion and chemistry is with someone, then you haven't met the right one, yeah? Just saying. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. Spirit saying don't stop, keep moving forward. Because there's a beautiful love relationship coming in. There's going to be a need for compromise and balance. Um, for those of you that are with someone or you're separated from your partner who you've been married to, you're reconciling, Spirit's saying there's got to be two-way communication, balance. Can't be all your way, can't be all their way, yeah? You've both got to give. Or some of you going into a new relationship where past relationships were imbalanced, this one's going to be balanced, yeah? Spirit's saying you're going to have success. Particularly singles, getting your flirt on, mm-hmm. And Spirit's saying you're ready. You're ready to find this soulmate. Mm. And take action. Yeah. Let people know you're interested in them. Get your flirt on. <laughs> There's an amazing connection here, Libra, for you. All right, let's pull you some soulmate messages. What is it Libra needs to know? Got a message to try and look at things from more of a feeling level. What is your heart saying? If you look at life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to make no sense. Trust your true wisdom and understanding that resides in your heart. So it's not overthinking things, um, getting stuck too much in your mind. And uh, you've also got the message, I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from the most benevolent universe. How gorgeous. Can speak to past love, can speak to a new love coming in. Wow. Wow, you ready, Libra? We are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with a great source of light whose love moves the earth and the stars. Oh, such an amazing love in your life coming towards you. All right, next up we're going to do your general energies. And uh, in terms of your general energies, don't forget we've got these four uh, oracle cards, tarot cards here, sorry, from your um, predictions, which is uh, the nine of fire, protecting that which you have created. Renewal, which is looking at things, going in a different direction, particularly as a family, as a couple. Uh, you've also got meant for you, which is this beautiful divine gift, opportunity, blessing coming your way. And the chariot, yeah, which is very much about that energy to push forward, go after your goals, your dreams. A lot of force energy, fire energy. Mm -hmm. And let's pull you a central energy from the journey of love oracle. Mm. You've got, she is the moon. It's so very reflective. 
um, big moon behind and we're almost at when I'm recording this we're almost to a full moon but not quite I'm not sure if it's a what time of the year is it oh yeah it could it could be a new moon based on today's date or it could be a full moon I can't oh, I haven't looked it up my loves It says Libra, the light of the moon ebbs and flows. The wisdom of patience is not about waiting around for something to happen rather than getting up and getting it done. The wisdom of patience is that of the gardener who consults the lunar calendar. The right timing promoting growth, planting when the fertile soil is ready and allowing the soil to rest and replenish when it needs to. You've been asked to check in with your timing. Is now the time for action or for rest? It can change quickly, just like the phases of the moon. If you're unsure, that's okay. Perhaps you're waiting for the light to reveal the way as the moon grows full all the coming time. And your message through this oracle is your manifestation is unfolding in divine timing. If you feel something isn't happening fast enough or happening quickly, and you're unsure if you're really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you'd like it to be more so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Don't worry and don't try to force the insight. Just be with what is happening now and trust. You're moving and growing and all is well. Soon you will see that for yourself, just as the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of the darkest night. And there's a poem here about waiting. It says, these moments are precious like jewels on the crown of life. They beckon my heart, warming memories, they sparkle with joy, and like the longing of a sweet caress, they draw me near, melting into one, showing what is possible on the journey of life, waiting for the season to change. So very much about not trying to force things, going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Spirit saying it's all happening, Libra. It's just me throwing crystals around. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus in terms of your general energies with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and then pull you lots of clarifiers. Highest level guidance at this time. Thank you. Mm, you pulled action. Yeah, there's definitely a focus on you moving forward and taking action. Kind of backs up the chariot energy. You've also pulled divine protection, spirit absolutely watching over you. Wow. You've also pulled miracle, the ability to manifest miracles in your life, attract miracles to you, and you've got the power of the universe again behind you, a lot of lightning coming down from the sky. Angels, your spirit guides absolutely watching over you, Libra, at this time. All right, let's have a look at uh, pulling you some clarifiers from the energy oracle. First up, looking at action. What is it Libra needs to know? Hmm. They're directly speaking about financial constraints, your finances. So you may be worrying about your finances. This could be a state of being that you're currently in. Uh, you've also got the world here, which can represent the end of a difficult, challenging cycle in your life. It can represent new opportunities, um, travel, completions. You've also got your vitality here. So Spirit's saying you need to look after your health and well-being. Raise your vitality, diet, nutrition, fitness, yeah? Mm, and you've got deceit here. So that's the second time it's come out in your reading. Don't forget we've got the sly foxes, yeah? Um, we'll see what that relates to. So whether you're deceiving yourself about your health and well-being and your finances or whether this is someone else's energy. Let's have a look at divine protection going on. Mm. You've got your intuition here, your third eye chakra, trusting your intuition to guide you particularly messages from spirit coming through. Mm, okay, we've got hostilities here, which is the energies of someone else. Can be affecting your uh, emotions, vitality, sense of well-being, because it's sitting right under your solar plexus chakra. Be 
your life force energy. Spirit's saying you're divinely protected. They're watching over you. And you've got woman holding a coin. So, girls, this represents you coming into your finances. Um, it can represent a physical person to you. And if this is a negative energy in your life, so we're not talking about any of you who are Libras, they do not have a lot of good energy going on if it's them, right? So there's two ways you can read that. It can represent a physical person to you. Uh, let's have a look at miracles. Spirit saying you just need to bring yourself into balance, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, particularly if you're worrying about your finances. And you've got these gorgeous caring connections in your life coming towards you. Some of you, they may be at a distance from you because it's related to the world. Wow. Spirit saying you've got cornucopia coming in. Success on every level. Mm-hmm. Number 11 can represent brand new beginnings. And uh, you've absolutely got the door to romance opening. Opening, the door to love opening. All right, let's have a look at some guidance around your financial constraints. Mm, Spirit's saying you've got this beautiful, happy family around you, a lot of support around you, which kind of means share what's going on with others. Don't carry that load of your stress by yourself. And definitely a focus on your root chakra. And Spirit's saying you need to focus on your career, your finances. Let's have a look at deceit. Why is deceit here? Okay, Spirit's saying giving you a storm warning, yeah? Can be related to the hostilities. Okay, that flew out. Um, you've got your heart chakra here. So tr Spirit's saying to trust your heart to guide you. If you feel there's deceit going on with anyone... Trust yourself. And you've got your community here, so it can be in your circle, yeah? Friendship circle, someone around you. can also mean leaning on your friendships at this time. Let's have a look at these hostilities. Why is that here? Mm, Spirit is saying the door to personal healing and happiness is going to open for you. So if there are people that you need to release from your life or not get engaged in their energy, Spirit's saying just you open your own door to personal healing and happiness. Don't let the energies of others, negative energy, affect your own. Let's have a look at power. What is it Libra needs to know? Mm. Got an attachment here. Spirit's saying you have the power. This is the second time this has come in. Is there something holding yourself stuck? You have the power to release yourself from any bondage or chains because you've got envy sitting in here, which can be a state of lack going on. Getting stuck in that state versus seeing the opportunities around you. You've got the temple path. Spirit's saying they're absolutely watching over you at this time. And you need to have a clear plan and strategy to move yourself forward. And it's... You've got your throat chakra here, so there's certainly a need for you to speak your truth, express yourself. The Spirit's saying their door is absolutely going to open for you. You need a clear, solid plan and strategy. If you're feeling a bit all over the place, disorganized, distracted, the Spirit's saying you need to get more disciplined, organized, have a plan. Who wants to come to you? All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row around taking action, particularly towards your finances. You've got your vitality here, trust in your heart. Mm, Spirit's saying just be strong at this time, particularly those of you worrying about your finances. And uh, you've also got Malu, Mother Earth, which is doing your bit in terms of protecting Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Any other guidance there? Yeah, and Spirit's saying get yourself new bodies of water to rejuvenate yourself, release worry and stress. And you've got unconditional love, treating yourself and others with kindness, compassion, directly related to divine protection, the daughter of personal healing and happiness, opening your coin, all this energy that's going on. Third message in a row to get your uh, get yourself outside in nature. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look at miracles. Your cornucopia coming in, this beautiful love connection, being in balance. Spirit saying to open yourself up to receive. Second message about that. Don't forget, you've got what is meant to you is coming to you. 
which is unclearing, unblocking your energy so that you're in a positive energy to draw to you what you want. Um, some of you have divine healing powers. Yeah, Spirit's saying. can help you with your cornucopia. And you've got a syrup blossoming abundance. You're just getting started. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. All right, let's have a look at power. This attachment going on, speaking your truth. Your daughter value opening. You got Irene Pace. Don't worry, and everything's going to be fine, Spirit's saying. And it's just a need for you to do some detoxification around your emotions, your mindset, your health, your well being. As you got said in their infinite supply, Spirit's watching over you. He's saying your material needs, your emotional needs can be met for today and all of your tomorrows. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row around taking action, relying on your strength, focus on your root chakra, getting your feet on Mother Earth. Yeah, some of you absolutely need to face the shadow side of self. Something holding you stuck and spirit saying you can release yourself at any time. Um, you've also got healthy boundaries, which is directly related to this gnarly energy here that's a bit hostile. Spirit saying part of your journey to personal healing and happiness is to learn how to put healthy boundaries in place with people. Stand up for yourself. Um, you also get your ancient wisdom coming out. Connection to your past life information, possibly downloads from spirit. Let's have a look at your miracles going on here. Three. Mm. Spirit's saying that some of you definitely have healing abilities. More confirmation of that directly related to your past life gifts and talents. And you've also got chrysotile animals. Some of you may be a protector of Mother Nature, Mother Animals, and Earth Angel. For others, there may be a bit of a focus on the health and well-being of your pets, yeah. Have a look at power next, yeah. Fifth, oh, fifth message, right, Mother Earth. Get your feet on Mother Earth. Spirit's saying to deal with your emotions. You've got brand new beginnings that are going to want to happen in your life. And Spirit's saying there's a bit of emotional healing that needs to happen, yeah, to release yourself from attachment. On the bottom of the deck, again, you've got the message to move yourself forward and take action. All right, let's put you some guidance from the messenger oracle. What does that Libra need to know? You've got reveal your truth, taking the mask off again. Accepting all parts of self, trusting your heart, following your passions, doing what you want to do, um, not changing who you are to be loved, accepted by others. Being very comfortable in your own skin. And you've also got see the signs, yeah? Your angels, your spirit guides are going to be sending you signs, synchronicities, animal spirit guides to help you on your path, let you know they're with you. You've also got heed your dreams. So you may get subliminal messages in your dreams, brilliant ideas coming to you. And you've also got we are all connected, yeah? Animal, spirit, nature. Sun, the moon, everything, yeah. You can tap into that energy, Libra. Absolutely. Oh, my God, darlings. We should have just called you reading Get Out in Nature because this is your sixth message, Spirit, saying it's on loudspeaker, Libra. Get those beautiful feet of yours on Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you release stress and worry. All right, Libra, we're going to pull your crowning energy from the uh, Earth Warrior Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. Highest level guidance, please. Mm, beautiful. You've pulled the sweet paradox of empowering grace. It feels like there's so much angelic support around you right now. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Libra, when the mind says no, but the heart leaps with joy, we are ripe for a transmission of empowering grace. The sweet paradox is that the more impossible the situation appears to be, the more we are supported through grace, our divine success manifests swift and complete. Let the faith of your heart overcome doubt. Allow your mind to be filled with wonder at the unlimited power of the divine, and you shall bear witness to sacred manifestation. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. 
When there is something within your heart that you're on this planet that you know you are here to accomplish, you will be given equal grace, power, talent, and ability to succeed in that mission. This is the divine promise and sacred plan for you. The miracle is required for success and one shall be given. Oh, hello, you pulled a miracle. Pray with courage and confidence for your rightful divine inheritance and allow your bold heart and loving soul to believe in your beautiful, hope-filled destiny. And Kienti, which is the name of this oracle, yeah, the sky jewel of the Andes brings you Hummingbird, who bears the soul medicine of spiritual grace, the evolution to conquer any obstacle and extraordinary power of the heart. The concept of spiritual grace can be challenging to the mind. We don't often realize how much we have been conditioned to subconsciously demand that progress in our lives be difficult even whilst at a conscious level. We bemoan this struggle and wish things to be easier. We want help, but we believe that we are unworthy or have to earn our success completely off the back of our own efforts. Whilst the divine wants us to engage and participate in the fulfillment of our destiny, if we do not surrender our arrogance and learn how to surrender spiritually, we will never fulfill our potential. There is a way to allow for spiritual grace, so any obstacle can be surmounted even the invisible ones that seem to block your progress for some unknown source. It is not a question of needing to become more powerful, but rather of your relationship to the divine needing to become more vitalized. Then grace can flow, creating success in the same situations that would have otherwise defeated you. When the hummingbird brings you medicine, you have a high spiritual destiny, one that's going to triumph up against apparently insurmountable odds stacked against you. Hummingbirds have the highest metabolic fucking hell, I'm so fucking over it. Hummingbirds have the highest metabolic rate of any animal on earth with their hearts capable of beating at over a thousand beats per minute. These remarkable little creatures have an exceptionally high need for oxygen, yet some of the species have evolved to thrive in low oxygen, high altitude environments of the Andes flying over 15,000 feet above sea level, which is truly rarefied air. It has become possible because of this tiny genetic mutation in how oxygen is metabolized in the blood, and this subtle inner evolution opened up the power of some hummingbirds to thrive quite literally in higher worlds. Hummingbird medicine empowers the soul for success in situations that would seem most unlikely. And this medicine brings subtle adjustment within the blood or feminine life force on how it receives and processes the presence of spirit. This in turn leads to extraordinary and heightened abilities. Trust in the incredible possibilities that are birthed through the union of sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies within you. And there's a healing ritual here which says, Rest quietly, be aware of your heart, place your hand there lightly and say aloud, I call upon the sacred testimony of all perfected ones who have laid down their blood for the very purpose for which I have been born. I bear witness to their sacred testimony of love in the spiritual realms as they call out for the cleansing of my bloodline. No impediment can stand against my divine fulfillment. Allow your heart to feel relaxed and peaceful and without it having to make logical sense, allow yourself to speak from the heart now by saying, I ask for divine forgiveness for my transgressions and for the tr transgressions of my ancestral line from the beginning of time. I open my heart with genuine remorse for all violations against love that I and my ancestors have ever made. And relax as you connect with your heart and continue by saying, Pure sacrificial blood of the sacred heart has already been shed for our souls. The spiritual blood of unconditional love beating in the living sacred heart washes through my own heart and bloodline now back to the beginning of time. This will evoke an energetic release from your blood which you may feel if you're attuned to subtle energies. Rest and allow this to happen without attachment or analysis. Even if you don't consciously sense something taking place it will be happening. When you're ready complete the process with the following statement. Through the intercession of divine blood testimony from the purest sacred heart all impediments have been answered grace flows and divine love manifests over it finish with your hands in prayer there's an emotional release that follows 
This process in your dreams or daily life, take a moment to place one hand on your heart, reconnecting with the feeling of love and peace within. Know that this is a continuation of the healing release and it will subside, leaving more space for grace and fulfillment to flow through to you. You have completed your healing process. Kind of interesting that in your predictions you pulled the release card, yeah? There's a lot of transformation going on. Uh, a lot of clearing of obstacles, yeah, from your path. All right, Libra, those are your messages for March 2021. If you enjoyed this reading, love to hear your feedback, your comments down below. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. Connect with me on Instagram and for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.